Hey folks, Fat Guy Flies RC. We're out here at the Avon Park Aero Models Association, pretty much the only place I fly these days. And I'm going to take up the Free Wing 64 millimeter band sheet. One interesting thing this plane does come with is braking. The ability to fly backwards. No. Brakes off. Does have reverse. So all right let's take a thing 64 millimeter i want to say it's an 11 bladed fan if i remember correctly all right real quick let's make sure right left up down right and left okay let me look at my rates real quick i'm in my mid rates which are 70 percent high rates low rates 70 percent over 15 expo typically with a jet i do lower expo rates like 15 or 10. i even do 20 on some just let's get rid of that annoying beep that's going to drive me nuts just so you know if you want to get rid of that beep every time you hit the throttle you go down to your timer i'm just going to tell you because you're not going to be able to see it you go down to your timer you go to the net and you go to the very last screen four screens in that says timer control alerts and you inhibit each one of those so on your timer, go to your fourth screen in where it says timer control alerts and inhibit all three of those and you'll get rid of that annoying beep every time you hit throttle. All right, timer set for three and a half minutes. I'm running a 2600. A 2600 uh, Yahoo. I think it's called Yahoo uh, brand. Uh, nice loop. Yahoo, Yahoo brand. Landing flaps. Whatever that is. You know what? High rates. I think I'm gonna go with high rates. Anyway, called Yahoo brand, and not really sure. Anyways, it's a high, it's a high discharge graphene battery. Flaps up. I like the way she's flying today. A little bit of right aileron needed, but then again, that might be from the wind. Right now, I'm flying directly at me. And that's the direction of the wind. It's about three quarters throttle right now. I'm running a AR Landing flaps. 620 and 10 receiver. Okay. A little bit of of uh, up up on the uh, nose with landing flaps in, but that's okay. Let's see if I can't get a landing out of this bad boy well kind of not the best that's for sure not the best All right, let's get turned around here let's try that again now of course this has fixed gear does not have retracts i mean it's a 64 millimeter so it's not a very big jet We'll try to get some more, some more flybys for you. Now I know you have, you'll have the, uh, you'll want to uh, go full throttle all the time with jets. You may want to, but don't. Don't go full throttle all the time, because you don't want to burn up your ESC. And full throttle all the time will burn up an ESC. And I'm not saying it's going to burn it up the first time, but it's going to burn it up quicker than what its normal lifespan would be. And you know, and I'm sorry, but these planes, these planes are expensive. You know, so why? Landing flaps. Why on earth would you uh, want to keep burning out your investment? I mean, come on, nothing's cheap these days. And remember, landing is more about is more about throttle than anything else. It's 
It's more about throttle. All right, we got 50 seconds. We're going to take off one more time, get one more landing in. An interesting thing um, about this particular jet is the white, the white part is not just bare foam. It is also, it's painted white and they've got it filled in to where you can't really even tell that it's foam. Landing flaps. Yeah. Now, unless you've got a really strong headwind that you're flying into with a jet, you're almost gonna have to have flaps unless you're gonna do like a high alpha type landing. So, cause they carry a lot of momentum. Whoa, hey, all right, bouncy, bouncy. Luckily, this is where a light plane, Motor off. this is what makes it nice because they're light and this one's very, very strong. All right, that was a three and a half minute flight, minus 15 seconds with, I went down and did a range test before I even started filming. So, battery is relatively warm not too bad to show you where i've got that graphene that's a graphene yahoo 2600 4s with a third 130c discharge so she's got a fast discharge on her so she'll deliver a lot of power very quickly to that edf but let's uh see what kind of juice i got in the tank as uh gb linden likes to say Not bad, I got 37%, 3.81 down the board. So that's a perfect storage rate right there. So three and a half minutes after a range test, so a good three and a half minutes period, is a good rate, a good timer for this plane. All right, folks, well, there you go. That is the Free Wing Banshee 64 millimeter. I, yeah, I believe that's 11 blade fan in there. She's got a plastic tip nose here so you can store, lean up against the wall. Um, she's a full house as far as, well, she doesn't have retracts, but she's got flaps, she's got a rudder. And uh, yeah, it's just a nice little plane. One nice little touch here that Free Wing does a lot of them, and an E flight doesn't, they should. At the back of their exhaust here, they got a little plastic plate because so many of your uh, uh, EDFs, when you sit them on the ground, they sit and they tilt down on their on their butt like that. Well, having that little plastic plate is just a nice touch to protect it. Folks, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless y'all. And don't forget, faith, family, and friends, and them planes. Bye-bye.